Well, I'm glad because this morning, for the second year in a row, myself, Peter Hitchener, and a group of judges, including Lord Mayor Sally Cap, were invited to be the judges to choose who would be our junior Lord Mayor for 2018 into 2019. And we had some absolutely outstanding entrants. In fact, when we left the uh, council chamber, we went to uh, deliberate. I suppose that's the right word. And we took forever to come up with a decision. But the decision uh, in the end was unanimous. And Chloe Melfi, congratulations to you as junior Lord Mayor of Melbourne. Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very happy, a little bit overwhelmed, but it was very good. Right. What you did this morning, have you, have you been in a situation of uh, getting up in front of a panel and having to present yourself? No, I have not. I mean, I've done debating, but that's not really it. And to, and to be looking up there and seeing a familiar face like Peter Hitchener's? Yeah, it all was... All a bit nerve-wracking, isn't it? Yeah, it was very nerve-wracking. I had butterflies in my stuck, stomach, but then when Sally... Um, said my name at the end. I was really happy. Well, I just happened to look up at you as that was said. Family members so excited. You had the biggest smile on your face that uh, anyone could imagine. And I know it's been caught on uh, camera for television news tonight. Uh, you, you, you must be feeling over the moon. Here you are, well, just over an hour later on radio. Yeah, it's really exciting. You have got the, my, I've got the first radio interview with you. <laughs> I've got this, we call this an exclusive, Chloe. <laughs> yeah. So what, what were the main things that you, you wanted to talk about and have to say why you love Melbourne so much? Um, I talked about like the future and of especially homelessness, um, about like how can we help them and just mostly get them off the street so they can have a better life. And, and you had some ideas about that that were really strong. Yes. And they, just give, give, for the listeners who weren't there, um, give us a bit of an idea of what those thoughts were. Um, so... So, um, like making vacant buildings um, into temporary shelters. Um, so buildings that might be yeah. sitting there, not much happening with them, um, perhaps injecting some uh, government funding just to bring them up so people at least have got shelter. Yes, and then um, like the council working with charities around Melbourne to give them food, clothes and employment opportunities. Just out of interest, how were you feeling when you heard all the other nominations, the nominees this morning? Um, they were all so good. Yep. It was, I personally didn't think I would win because there were so many good ones. Um, they were talking more about plastic and pollution. Mm -hmm. And I was one, probably one of the only ones that talked about homeless and infrastructure. You did too, and you put your case very well. And you answered some questions that were... Uh, sort of outside the, the answers that you'd given, um, yeah. and uh, that, that is part of the reason that you got across the line. Yes. The other part of the reason is that you, everyone, anyone could have won it. You just got there, and you're going to be fantastic. Thank you. Good luck, Chloe. Uh, congratulations. What school do you go to? I go to Genazano FCJ College. And what age are you? I'm 12. That puts you in year seven? Year six. Year six. Well, have a terrific year. It's going to be busy. Yeah. You, I think you spoke about Moomba and all the different things that yeah. happen around Melbourne. Um, you will be there. Yes, I will. And I think all the, I think all the finalists are going to be there as well, which yep. is, is great news. Uh, Chloe Amelfi, a pleasure to meet you today. You've got my week off to a really good start and uh, have a wonderful year as Junior Lord Mayor of Melbourne. Thank you. That'll look good on your CV later in life, won't it? Yes, very. <laughs> <laughs> 16 past 12. Chloe Amelfi, this year's Junior Lord Mayor of Melbourne.